from being one of the biggest European stars of League of Legends content creation to barely making videos and only streaming behind an eerie 2D avatar, Civ HD has had one of the stranger League of Legends journeys. The Dutch-born YouTuber and streamer has found massive successes and awkward failures and has unofficially retired on several occasions, only to come back to the game months later. Welcome to LOL Athlete. Today we're looking at the on-again, off-again career of Civ HD. Robert von Eindhoven, better known as Civ HD, was born in the Netherlands in the city of, you guessed it, Eindhoven. Apparently, the Dutch can choose to use the city they were born in as a last name, making phone books a nightmare. Siv grew up playing video games from a young age, citing Super Smash Bros and Counter-Strike as some of his early favorites. Siv had little interest in school and social relationships, instead opting to craft relationships online. He later joined a group of older gamers that he referred to as Dutch Fight Club, a group that prioritized good sportsmanship, anti-toxic gaming, and friendship. Go figure. Siv then started playing his all-time favorite game, World of Warcraft. Siv played WoW for years and still occasionally streams WoW content to this day. He created a guild focused on the ideals of Dutch Fight Club, and eventually made a name for himself within the community. He began being recognized throughout his server as a positive influence and fun personality. While Siv had found a community that he fell in love with, his real life did suffer as a result. He performed terribly in high school on account of his constant gaming. Because of the school system in the Netherlands, even though he failed high school, he was able to pursue a follow-up education, and he began to attend a film school in the nearby Dutch city of Rotterdam. However, Siv quickly dropped out, as he didn't enjoy the program and felt limited by the career paths afterward. Despite not finishing, Siv has said that his brief stint in school did allow him to open up, become more social, and begin to care more about his appearance and his social skills. Maybe our moms were right all along. After returning back to Eindhoven, Siv gave a different film school a try, and it was at this second school that he began playing League of Legends. He quickly fell in love, and using the skills he picked up in film school, began making YouTube videos based on the game. Siv's early videos on YouTube consisted mostly of champion guides and the occasional vlog, but one can also clearly see the filmic influence in Siv's early channel. He posted spoof league-based trailers, short films, and music videos, full of cheesy graphics, voiceovers, and visual effects. Siv's personality shines through these early videos, and it is clear that he was never concerned about going pro or mastering the game. To him, it was all about having fun. Even his guides are full of comedic clips and have a very unserious tone about them. After all, Siv was usually ranked around gold tier, so while he wasn't a bad player by any means, his viewers weren't necessarily coming to his channel to climb the ranks by using the AP Poppy guide. They came for Siv himself. Siv found early, almost immediate success with YouTube, and eventually dropped out of school for the final time. He found his channel and his community growing with every new video he posted, which drove him to create more and more content. He joined Twitch and began to stream in 2012. Around this time, he was posting videos that would garner hundreds of thousands of views, which for a relatively new, non-professional gamer was a big accomplishment. He continued to grow his channel and his fan base, posting more guides, vlogs, and league-based parodies. He played a variety of champions and roles, but found some favorites in LeBlanc, AP Ezreal, and Katarina. He also threw in content from beta versions of other games, like Hearthstone and Battlefield 4. Despite his popularity, Siv was not immune to criticism by the League community. While he was massively popular and most people enjoyed watching him have a good time, he was accused of being a bad influence on the game by building off-meta, occasionally trolling, and not taking the game seriously. And like virtually every other content creator in history, there was a large base of people who found him and his sense of humor downright obnoxious. Siv is, simply put, a pretty goofy guy, and the fact that he has never been high-ranking didn't help his case. League elitists didn't understand why anyone would watch videos of a guy who wasn't even pro-level give advice on the game. Regardless, Siv didn't let this stop him, and he continued producing content. He also used his popular status for a great cause, when he held a charity stream in 2013 that raised over $100,000 for Save the Children. 2014 is the year when Civ HD's popularity skyrocketed. Up until this point, Civ had been living with his parents while making his videos, but in early 2014, he moved into his own place, and in March, he announced the formation of Civ Industries. 
Civ Industries was originally branded by Civ as a content creation and gaming entertainment company, and it boiled down to a simple premise. Civ, along with two other league creators, Fat Mama and KP, moved into a house together and began creating content as a collective, doing group streams and posting videos of their co-op play to YouTube. While Civ Industries was ultimately seen by some as a massive failure for reasons we'll get to later, it was a pivotal point in Civ's career. After the formation of the company, Civ started posting his best moments videos, stream highlights which became his bread and butter or his brood in boulder to his fellow Dutch. These videos became virtually the only content Civ would post for the next few years and each video got anywhere from 1 to 3 million views a pop. This is also the time when his Twitch hit its peak. Throughout 2014, he was one of the most popular personalities in the game and was briefly in the top 10 bracket of Twitch streamers in terms of his followers, although he was quickly surpassed by the end of the year. Because Civ was never a pro-level player, he didn't ever have any experience playing in the pro circuit. But he does, however, have a connection to a professional team. In 2016, Civ visited Taiwan to attend the Master Series All-Star event. He stayed in the country for three months, and it clearly had an impact on him. Shortly after his visit, he joined the Taiwanese team Machi Esports, but not as a rostered player. He was simply in their organization as a streamer and a promoter. The next year, in 2017, he became co-owner of the team, a position he still holds today. About this time in early 2017 is when things started to take a turn in Civ's content creation career, specifically regarding League of Legends. After years of massively popular videos, Civ just abruptly stopped posting. From January to September of 2017, Civ's YouTube channel had gone black. He wasn't streaming. This prompted some confusion and curiosity from the community, with many wondering where he had gone off to. A rumor even surfaced that he had turned into an adult entertainment actor in Taiwan, an inspiration for Bunny Foo Foo, perhaps. Siv himself responded to a Reddit thread asking about his whereabouts, saying that he had taken some time off to travel and relax and would soon retire from his non-stop hardcore beast mode porn acting <laughs> and return to streaming League of Legends. This is also where we see a little peak of his shifting attitude towards League. In the same comment, Siv said, League content is at an all-time low. It's just pro streamers who hire B-tier YouTube editors. This attitude in due time would fester. Siv returned to making videos, but instead of posting League highlights, he was posting clips from the popular battle royale PUBG. While his PUBG videos were still getting over half a million views per, they were not nearly as popular as his best moments. In February of 2018, after not posting a League video for over a year, Siv returned to posting best moments. Now, however, even these videos weren't seeing the same viewership as they had before. He rarely cracked 1 million views, whereas before his hiatus, every single video had 1 million at the very least. It seemed like the community had felt his absence, and while some fans were happy to see him return, some had officially lost interest in Siv's content. Siv's return ended up being short-lived, as he again began to slow down on his content creation and his channel saw gaps in videos from April 2018 to March 2019, and then again from April of 2019 to October of the same year. If 2014 was Civ's boom, 2018 was his bust. 2018 was the year that Civ found his reputation taking a hit. Remember Civ Industries? While the venture did allow Civ to post stream highlights that boosted his own popularity, the actual group of three did very little together, and disbanded quickly after forming without making much of an impact in the community. The reason for this may have been a little more personal than business related. KP, one of Civ Industries' three creators, released a video in 2018 responding to her viewers asking what had happened to the group. She stated that because of her contract, she was not able to say anything that could be construed as negative towards Civ for two years. With a statue of limitations up, she told her story. KP was fairly unknown when she was contacted by Civ to join Civ Industries. With the promise of rising fame, she agreed to sell virtually everything she owned and moved to the Netherlands to join Civ and Fat Mama. The three started producing content, but it became clear early that Civ and KP were interested in each other romantically. She was apprehensive to date her employer, but according to her, Civ promised that no matter how their relationship went, her job wouldn't be in jeopardy. The two dated for about six months, but ran into trouble and eventually ended up breaking up. 
According to KP, Siv immediately went back on his word and forced her to move out of the Siv Industries house and back to Canada, even asking her on the day the two split what time she was going back. After selling everything to join Siv, KP had immediately lost it all. According to her video, the most frustrating thing was that since she was unable to talk about the situation, many people spread rumors that she had used Siv for fame and then left when she got bored. It turns out she may have not been the user after all. The silver lining is that KP still makes League content and is actually now on the rise in the community. The KP situation is really the only time that Siv's reputation has been in question. Because of his goofy demeanor and his overwhelming desire to have fun, he has never had any beef with other creators or found himself in controversy regarding the game itself. He holds true as a positive gamer, but maybe not the best boyfriend. In August of 2018, however, Siv made an official announcement that forever altered his relationship with League of Legends. In an unlisted YouTube video taken from his Twitch, Siv announced that he was done playing League and would no longer be posting best moments. I just don't like what Riot has done to the game, Siv said. They show no intention of going back and I want to give up on League of Legends. Siv returned to Reddit later to give a more detailed explanation as to why he didn't enjoy the game anymore. His disdain boiled down to the core design of the game, namely, champion design. Champions are becoming overloaded, allowing them to do everything, killing a lot of individuality, with extreme utility causing the big fights to be more and more unpredictable, and the small fights to be very linear shows of dominance. What was once a simple chill 5v5 chess game is becoming more of a jump around, spell flinging, combat action fueled arena every year. Strategy, not action combat, is the long lifeblood of these games. For the past five years, strategy gameplay has been in slow but steady decline in our game and crazy action combat fighting gameplay on the rise. This announcement was not a total surprise. After all, Civ had barely been making any videos and many streamers, YouTubers, and even professional players of League of Legends have shared similar qualms in the past. Times change, and games as popular as League of Legends do their best to keep up with the demands of those times. That being said, not everyone is always on board. From 2018 to 2020, Civ streamed and posted highlights from WoW, PUBG, Apex Legends, and even Skyrim. But his videos were not nearly as popular as they were before, hovering around 200,000 views. Then, in January of 2020, he came back to League, posting more Best Moments videos. Similar to his last return, the videos didn't perform as well as his classics. And one can even say the initial excitement of his return died down as the videos continue. His first Best Moments video of 2020 gathered almost 700,000 views, but each subsequent video got about 500k less, until he was back hovering around the 200-300k to range. Again, these numbers are not necessarily bad for YouTube, but for someone who was regularly getting 2-3 to three million, it's a steep downgrade. Siv kept these videos up, with his views continuing to dip until his last League video to date, which was posted in April of this year. After another multi-month break, Siv posted an announcement that he had officially moved to Taiwan and was going to start streaming with V2, where a digital avatar is made to resemble the streamer, including a moving mouth and fingers on the keyboard so the streamer can stay hidden during streams. Siv created a separate channel for his VTube streams, but this new channel, as well as his Twitch, has been silent for a number of months. Siv HD for better or worse, is the textbook example of the highs, lows, and unforgiving nature of content creation. He found early success, hit a massive boom in popularity, and rode the wave to millions of views. But as the years went on, his lack of passion for League of Legends allowed his production to slip, and as a result, his fan base slipped with it. Siv has now created somewhat of a reputation for swearing off League and then returning months later much like myself after every Rage uninstall. And while he has not officially stopped making content, well, that content, including Siv himself, doesn't seem the same. Maybe we'll see another resurface and a return to glory for Siv, but right now, it's not looking likely. Thank you for watching LOL Athlete. This has been the on-again, off-again career of Siv HD.